What's up y'all, it's Shantae Jacqueline here and I am finally back with a new video. In this video, we're talking about meditation. After the release of my guided meditation album last week, I have had people ask me what is guided meditation and how exactly do you meditate? Well, guided meditation simply put is meditation with the help of a guide. Um, it's one of the easiest ways to enter into a state of deep relaxation and inner peace. And it's one of the most powerful ways to eliminate stress and bring about some positive personal changes. Your meditation guide or the person that is leading the meditation um, will ask you to either sit comfortably in a chair or on the floor. Um, in some cases, you may be asked to lay down on your back. You then listen to your guide or your leader um, while they lead you through a series of relaxing visualizations and verbal cues. As you gradually relax and become more and more still, stress begins to fade away and your mind becomes more clear. So, the saved folks are probably like, meditation for Christians? Is that even biblical? And those are some really great questions. Um, so when we look at the Bible, meditation isn't necessarily about clearing out our minds. It's about filling our minds with the presence of God, his kingdom, and what a breakthrough can look like in our lives. So here is some things that I found for you. Um, Paul tells us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds in Romans 12 and to practice God honoring thoughts in Philippians 4. <clears throat> Meditation in the biblical sense is focused on thinking about the things that God would like um, us to be thinking about. Um, the things that would be worthy of praise. In doing this, we would fix our thoughts on the things of God's kingdom. He wants us to focus on the truth from him. He wants us to show honor to those around us. Um, he wants us to think of righteous things and have pure thoughts about ourselves and others. He also encourages us to think of things that are lovely and admirable, you know, beautiful. God wants us to step into who we are in his sight so we can share that with others. This is why we are to fix our thoughts on these good things. And as we begin to focus on these things, we begin to change. And the change we experience draws us closer to God. It helps us to see our identity in Jesus. It helps us to see the kingdom of God here on earth. And it helps us bring Jesus to the lives of others in a way that would be pleasing to God. But sometimes we need help. Sometimes we aren't there mentally and adding meditation along with prayer really helps you to focus your thoughts and it makes you more mindful of your thoughts and it helps calm those anxious thoughts. The battlefield is really in your mind. If the enemy can get your mind, then he can get you. So when I was creating these meditations, I thought about those times when I was really struggling in my thoughts. What would I want someone to say to me? What kind of encouragement would I need? What scriptures could I use to back all of this up? This is why most of the meditations begin with the scripture and end in a scripture that I turned into a prayer. May the peace of God guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Sealing the time in meditation and covering you with the power of God. So, are you ready to give meditation a try? Well, click the link in the description to get your hands on Be Still, which is again, my new meditation album. It's available on all streaming platforms. All right. That's all I have for you all today. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.